Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How many of the exonerees had criminal records before the wrongful conviction? Wrongful convictions are a complex and troubling issue within the criminal justice system. When individuals are wrongfully convicted, their lives are significantly impacted, and one of the lasting effects is the presence of a criminal record. The process of exoneration does not automatically clear an exoneree's criminal record. In many cases, exonerees must take additional steps to have their records expunged or sealed. Studies have shown that even after exoneration, many individuals still have their wrongful convictions listed on their criminal records. For instance, a study by Mandry and Schlossberg found that one third of exonerees still had their charges on their criminal records, even decades after they were exonerated. The issue of criminal records is further complicated by the fact that media reports and public records often continue to reflect the original conviction making it difficult for exonerees to escape the stigma associated with the crime they did not commit. There is no specific data indicating the number of exonerees who had criminal records before their wrongful conviction. However, it is clear that the presence of a criminal record, whether it be from a previous conviction or the wrongful one, poses significant challenges for exonerees as they attempt to reintegrate into society. Causes of wrongful convictions. Wrongful convictions often result from various factors, including eyewitness error, false confessions, faulty science, and official misconduct. Official misconduct, such as falsifying evidence or coercing witnesses, is a significant contributor to wrongful convictions. Post-exoneration challenges. Exonerees face numerous challenges after their release, including lack of access to re-entry programs, state aid, and basic necessities like housing, transportation, and health services. These challenges are exacerbated by the absence of comprehensive compensation laws in many states. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.